this session we will see how we can use Socrative in a typical classroom. Socrative is a product that gives teachers the ability to ask question and get feedback from each student immediately. It does not require special hardware. All you need is a internet enabled devices such as computer, laptop or a phone. A teacher registered and log in Socrative and create a virtual classroom that has unique code. Teachers can either create or save quiz to use later or prepare a spontaneous question to ask on the fly. Once they prepare the questions or start the quiz, students simply have to visit the website that is socrative.com and enter the classroom code, their name and start answering the questions. As I have mentioned earlier, it is easy to use. I am sure by the end of this session, you will be able to use it effectively. So, let us start with the visiting the home page of Socrative that is Socrative.com. On this page, log in as a teacher. For the first time, we will need to register ourselves by creating account or simply sign in with Google account and password. Once logged into the program, you will notice the menu like launch, quizzes, room, report and results. Select quizzes from menu bar and add quiz. You will find two options. First is create new and another import. Here you will see how to create new quiz. You will have to give the name to this quiz and select type of questions such as short answers, true or false or multiple choice. You will have to enter question and possible options or answers in respective rows. And then you will have to mark correct answer. If you are interested to provide explanation to the answer, you will have options available. Explanation will be displayed to the students after attempting the question by them. And now, save the question. This question you can add it anytime if required. It allows you to upload the figure or photograph from your computer. You can also enter a question with answer as true or false. After every question, you have to save and then proceed for new question. At the end, you have to save and then exit from it. Here we notice that our quiz has appeared on the list of quizzes available in this folder. Now we are ready to launch the quiz. We will select the quizzes for launching. From the list of quizzes, we will select the quiz in which we are interested and want to launch. Regarding delivery of questions, Socrative gives us three major options such as instant feedback, open navigation, teacher paste. In instant feedback, students answer question in order fixed by the teacher and a student cannot change the answers. Teacher get instant feedback after each attempt. Teacher can monitor the progress in the table of result. In open navigation, students may answer questions in any order and change answers before finishing. We can monitor the progress in the table of live results. There are two options, instant feedback and open navigation. We can use it in the beginning of the class or at the end of the class very effectively. The third option is teacher paste where we can control the flow of question and monitor responses as they happen. We may skip or revisit the question. We can use this option effectively during the lecture wherever we want to ask questions. 
In this module, we will concentrate on instant feedback, which gives us an option such as shuffle questions, shuffle answers, show question feedback if any and if we are interested to give it to the student as well as show the final score to the student. Thus, after finishing the delivery method and setting, we can start the quiz. As soon as we launch the quiz, live results appear on the screen and quiz is available for a student. The name of the room is displayed on the screen. For example, in this case, it is Director 5461. Now, we have to share the name of the room to the students and ask them to visit the home page of Socrative that is and login as a student. On the student login screen, student will enter the room name. For example, in this case, as I said, it is director 5461 and then they will join the class. The student will enter his or her name and proceed. As we have selected the option for the shuffle questions, question will appear randomly for the student. As soon as student joins the quiz, his or her activity become visible on teacher's screen. As the student attempt the question, he or she instantly get feedback. Teacher also get instant feedback. If we as a teachers have given an explanation for the correct answer, it will also become visible to the student as soon as he or she submit the answer. And we monitor the student's response in real time. At the end of quiz or class, we can save the results and get the outcome as a report or view chart. We can download email or store outcome in Google Drive. We can evaluate the outcome of each and every question, which question has been answered correct by the most of the students and information on the pattern of section of options by the students gives an idea about understanding of whole class on the concept whole class result can be obtained with details as Excel sheet. We can also get the detailed report on activity of individual student. On the basis of this evaluation, teacher can adjust the pace and modify style in the class for better understanding if necessary. Socrative or such student response systems are easy and convenient to use in the classroom. These systems allow us to organize multiple forms of assessment, help us to organize grades and quizzes and cut down the grading time for us by providing instant feedback. Using student response system, we can convert lecture theatre into learning theatre in which we engage students and motivate them to learn and display their learning. 